Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover. thank you for joining me here. So, uh, let's get back into playing as the Kingdom of the Ukraine, Slava Ukraini. So, um, right now, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little tired, I just got back from driving for about 7 or 8 hours, so I'm recording this a little, quite a bit later than I normally do, but anyways, the show must go on. So, last time, we took out Moscow, which is right here. Moscow is, of course, right now a frontline city, but... We've taken it over, thanks to the glory of the Ukrainian soldiers. As well as last time, we also took out Kharkov. At least, I'm probably pronouncing Kharkov wrong. But, because of that, I think it's time to create a few special divisions. So, early on, let's do this. So, we got some special... Um, uh, just special divisions. How about we do that? We do this. And I'm going to actually, for the first time in any of my campaigns, actually change the default symbol to something else. I like the eagle, but is it, the paradox symbol is very interesting to use. How about we use... Now, I like this symbol just because it's Spec Ops from, like, Old World Blues, but... How about we use... I kind of like this symbol here. Maybe we use this symbol. We'll do that. Special divisions. Now, it's the special divisions, they're only going to be 40 combat with divisions just because there's nothing extremely, extremely special about them. Except that we're going to give them some special names. You know what? I'm going to throw in some Mountaineers here, too. Just, just throw in one battalion, because why not? That's right, so we got four, um, four things of artillery. Throw in some more infantry. Very nice. We're not going to make a lot of these divisions. Uh, let's see, no extra things. So, let's go ahead and let's throw on two of these at a time. For right now, we might go down to one, but I want to actually rename these divisions because after taking Moscow as well as back as well as Kharkov back, I think it is time we might want to name one or two of our divisions. So, the first one I'm thinking of is let's see, we liberated Kharkov, which someone is going to help me pronounce that correctly very soon in the future. We'll call this the, um, let's see, can I come back here? Thank you very much. First, Kar, oh, I spelled that wrong. I spelled that wrong. Where's that city? There it is. Karkov. First, Karkov. And because of our victories, we have some, a little bit fun more to in, or we should have some volunteers from Galicia. And I wanted to, uh, add this in just because it looks, a little bit fun and has no connotation whatsoever to our real timeline. So we got the first Kharkov as well as the first Galician. No, no, absolutely no relation to uh, to history or anything like that. But anyways, um, cool. So let's keep playing and having a good time with each other and understanding that the Germans love to kill their own soldiers off. Um, Bailgorod. Interesting. Oh, yeah, we also want to make sure that the Germans are holding the line appropriately. Even though someone seems to be attacking over here. Hmm. Oh, look at these guys. There's a lot of those over there. And don't worry. I have another idea for what we will name a division once we take off or take over the Az Sea of Azov. Azov. Because I had to look that up. Oh, we're actually getting attacked here. Interesting. Three divisions, or my three divisions, are defending against 17. That's quite a few boys, but the show must go on. Let us have a good time with all of these boys. Looks like the Germans are holding the line, so let's go ahead and see if we can make these guys not have a good time. We're fighting four. That shouldn't be terrible. You guys should be able to push in this way. Let you guys push in this way. Let you guys push in this way as well. Um, you might find success helping them in the north. Maybe. You might. Or you might not. So, this is the first time I'm playing this uh, in a few days, just because I I left. And if you want to, I can share a photo on my Discord to show you an image of where I went, if you're really so interested. Let's see. 78, 79, that's good, that's good. As long as the West holds, the East will fall in our favor. Alright, so, Andrei Melnyak. Melnyak. Right now, we're not doing bad. Let's go and do a Logistics Wizard, just because I love Logistics Wizard probably a ton. It's one of my favorite traits to choose. Alright, that's all the upgrades we have currently. Not bad, not bad. 
Oh, we're actually getting attacked in the North U Ukrainian Air Force. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, we could do more stuff with our fleets, fleet and being, but we're really not, really not going to focus too much on our fleets, because by the time we're done with this campaign, we might just start building a new fleet. But planes are always important to do as well. So we can do a bombing fleet or air superiority. I would prefer to do, to do air superiority because I love fighters and heavy fighters over strategic bombers. So, even though it does say tactical bomber bomb, tactical bombers there. So, the development of well-engineered fighter aircraft will ensure that our own skies are safe and protected from airborne threats, protecting our advancing armies from enemy aircraft because we will have quite a few advancing enemy armies in the future. So, one division is trying to hold out against eight and it isn't going super, super well. We got plenty of... Oh, we got lots of stuff. Awesome. Lots of artillery, some pieces of some guns. Uh, let's see, I need fire support. Oh, we already have those there. Very nice. Fire support, yes. Yes, please. That's good. Fire support, no. All right. Well, let's make sure that we finish all of our battles first. And then I'm going to start exchanging some of our divisions to become just straight up fire support. Or divisions with fire support. 20 combat with. Um, you guys are changing out stuff. Uh, this might be a bad idea to do this now. This wasn't the army I was going to change out anyway, so not really a problem. We're still fighting two divisions here, which is fine and dandy. 102 factories. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right here. Yeah, you guys can definitely stamp these guys out. Make sure they can't even get back to Moscow. Also, someone tried to put in the comments how to pronounce... Muscovites, or people from Moscow, the way some people do it. For example, um, you guys are before are down here. Oh, you guys are guarding down here. That's okay. That makes sense. Um, like, you put, call people from Moscow, Moskali? Something like that, Moskali? Uh, ooh, we got pretty good amount of fuel. Ooh, you guys are carriers. We still have subs doing their job. Awesome. And you call people from the Ukraine, potentially, Kokoli? Quickly, I'm not really sure. I'm sure I pronounce those in very incorrectly, but whatever. I am not a native Ukrainian speaker, as you can probably tell right now. So, uh, you guys are moving up north, which means this is a great time to move everyone to do fire support infantry. And right now, we don't need this as m this one as much because this is just pure infantry for the most part. But to get these guys ready, do how much support equipment do we? Have? We have quite a bit of support equipment. Let's go ahead and throw in some recon companies on these bad boys. That'll be good. That does hurt our support equipment, but that's totally, totally fine. We're still trying to defend in the south. Oh, that's a big old attack in the west. That's good to keep an eye on. I'm glad Germany has not been navally invaded too much just yet. That is not good. How many divisions are attacking down here? 20 are attacking to get that airbase back. Holy smackaroli. Let's see. They are. They still have a little bit of manpower. They are, they're all on all adults there, which is interesting to see. So, and we still have to play it relatively safe with this campaign. So, right here might be a good area to attack next. Well, you know what? If the Germans can take that tile, then this would be okay. If you could help attack here as well, get your divisions in there. You might be able to help break them. We're probably going to lose this airbase down here, which sucks. But you know what? That's okay. Lose this tile. Well, actually, no, we're not. Oh, yeah, we will lose the airbase if we do that down there. Uh, come down here as well. Okay, G Germany. Why? Why, Germany? Why? Wh what have the Georgians done to piss you off? Uh, I mean, I know they're totalists, and everyone should hate totalists, at least in this campaign. But. Yeah? I mean, they're not extremely strong, but. Still, why? Oh, gotta love coffee. Gotta love coffee. Um, yeah, you might as well attack there. Give me half of you guys. You might as well attack there. You guys can move here. Good. Very good. You guys can actually probably help strike there. You guys will probably win. We have construction four. Germany wants help against the totalists. Totally fine. It's 1941, which actually isn't that bad. I thought we would be doing this a little bit later, but that's okay with me. You guys are not special named. No. Ah, special divisions. I love special divisions. Uh, we're still getting attacked, unfortunately, down there, which is fine. We just need a little bit of time. Yeah, Don Caban Union, you are really doing a number on us. 
And that's okay, because we're going to be doing a number on you very soon anyways. You guys, do that. I might be able to push these guys in, actually, if I had an extra division to spare, but I currently do not. Throw you guys over here. That'd be great. Go ahead, cut this division down, and throw this on here. We want more um, divisions with artillery. I'd rather have artillery than not have artillery. You guys are doing well up the north. Good. Support the divisions down here. Awesome. I forgot. No one ever remembers Hawaii, but Hawaii is in the in the Reich's back. Holy cow, look at all these ports. Or naval bases. Jeez, that's a lot of ports. A lot of naval bases, man. Aha, uh, Hawaii, how are you doing? You're market liberals with the Republican Party, yet you join the Reich's Pact. Well, they probably join it for protection. Uh, I guess that would make sense. The Finns are in the war, but not really because they can't... They're not even fighting the Russians because they capitulated already. Alright, looks like the Germans are holding the line very well, so that means we're going to attack right here. Ooh, actually, you know what? You can help attack as well. The Irish are in the war as well, which is... Alright, I guess. No real issue with the Irish. Not at the current moment. Keep making sure that the Russians do not have enough equipment. Actually, they might have enough equipment. But we gotta make sure we keep destroying them. No matter what happens. They still have four divisions. If I attack with four, that wouldn't be very fruitful. Just keep finding ways we can exploit the line and have a good time with them. A somewhat good time with them. Um, you guys can probably attack up this way. You help out the attack. You guys can probably actually help attack across... Yeah, you're not attacking over a river here, which is help very helpful for this. You guys... Give me you. How about right there? You guys were defeated. Um, you could help right here. You can help attack that way. And have we found some more convoys to kill? Very nice. Only two more, but you know what? I'll take it. Oh, we're still getting attacked. United Baltic Duchy. Awesome. You guys come on down here. And... Ooh, I could have attacked there. What is Russia's strength like? Yes, I am trying to beat up a 12-year-old kid. But you know what? That 12-year-old kid, it's not his fault. But it doesn't matter. The end goal still must be the same. Very nice. Um. Oh, you laughed, so I was going to use you. But come this way, guys. Thank you very much. Very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's the north here? They're, they're doing okay. They're, they're doing okay holding. For me, obviously, I've abandoned that part of the line just because there's no reason for Ukrainians to hold that part of the part of that line, which is totally fine. As, oh, we are just slowly trying to find places to coordinate attacks. Um, you guys probably could attack. Oh, I took you guys off. I need you to actually throw your divisions this way, please. Thank you. Because this here will probably be fine anyways. Very nice, very, very nice. You, um, sure, sure, sure. Looks good to me. Looks very good. We need to break down here a little bit more. I need the southern front to be moved up. Which means we need to attack here. So, give me all of you guys, except you. Attack here. So, we've got seven divisions attacking three. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Oh, maybe a couple more convoys. So I did learn that eventually this is the Sea of Azov. Or something like that. That might be how you pronounce it. Sea of Azov. Go for those convoys. Awesome. Awesome. We're breaking them. Breaking their lines. Well, maybe not breaking their lines, but at least breaking their divisions. Ah, that's a lot of dead Russians. Oh, unfortunate. Let's see you guys... You might be able to attack this way. This is really stretching it quite a bit. Four divisions attacking three. Eh, it's kind of risky. Kind of risky. Risky like a ruski. Oof. Oh, what happened here? Ooh, we sunk eight Don Kuban convoys. Yeah, that's where I'm looking for this. That C word. That C word. Mm. Well, it looks like the Germans, I mean, they just... Yeah, the Germans really just want to attack, 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 which I'm fine with. But sometimes when they attack, they don't win. And I don't like that. Yeah, hold the line there for now. Our divisions will help support attacks for now. But we can't be too crazy. Just crazy enough. Take that airbase, please. 
Take that division, or take that tile if possible. Two versus one. I like it. Ooh, Sweden. Yes, I will take guns because we are currently out of guns. And we really need some fighters, too. Awesome. Good, 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 good stuff. Come on. Oh, and they... Yeah, they did that. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, the southern portion here really needs to get realigned. So I'm going to actually do this. Awesome. They're still attacking us. Kind of. Kind of. You guys, how many of you... You still got the same amount of manpower. Russia is definitely losing its manpower, which is awesome to see. Really, really awesome to see. Uh, I want to attack here. I really need to focus on the southern front. Mm, you know what? I'm not going to help them right there right now. Uh, the north is great. The central port... Actually, the central portion of the front is doing amazing. The northern portion... Oh, hold on. Hold on. I made a mistake. I don't want that to happen. You guys come, like, right here. That was my fault. My fault. There you go. Everyone, hold on to your pants. We're going to have to realign our line. Because I made a mistake as the Cossacks are attacking us in the Strait of Azov. Maybe that's what it is? I'm not really sure. As I just finished my last sip of coffee for this campaign. Or, uh, no, not this campaign. God, no. But this, um... Video. This episode. Hmm. You know what? You don't need to go that way if you can go this way. You do the same. Good. Good, 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 good. And you know what? You guys can do this. And then you can't really help attack, but I'm going to use you to attack anyways. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. You don't need any more help. Awesome. Two more divisions. I can always use two more divisions. Oh, thank you. Guys, you got this. Don't worry about it. You're only fighting 16 divisions. About five times more forces are attacking you than are currently defending, so that's okay. Ovoronez. That's interesting. Maybe we can get that tile as well. Help them out here. They need help. Ooh, another division. Glorious. How's the uh, west? We're still holding the... Well, we're kind of... Uh-oh. We're mostly still holding. We might lose Antwerp. But maybe not. We'll see what happens. That's not good. Oh, we're still getting attacked down here. Pretty normal. Go ahead and rest up, soldiers. You need that. Rest. That's good right here. Right here, we might be able to actually do another attack. Yep. They took the bait. Which means... I might be able to attack right here. How about we attack this tile, and then we can attack this tile over here. This is going to be a little bit of a problem. Because we're, we're pretty darn spaced out, I'm not going to lie. This is not exactly ideal for our current situation. But we can definitely attack here. Definitely attack here to help out. Good, good, good. It is a little bit laggy right now. If you can't tell. Factory's doing pretty well. Not bad. How many guns do we still need? We need a ton of guns, but we have a ton of artillery. Holy cow. Uh, does anyone else need artillery? You guys already have artillery on you guys. Support equipment is doing better. I'm going to wait until I do that a little bit more to have a little bit more support equipment. I will change it up soon to add on engineers to this type of division. Recon, you already have artillery. Yeah, we already have a lot of artillery. Do I need this many artillery factories? I honestly need a few more gun factories, so I don't mind doing that for now. Come down here. I don't... Ooh. I need some of these bad boys. So... I don't want... Yeah, that's probably as much I'm going to take off from the artillery thing, just because we already have a lot in reserve now. So I don't really feel the need to... Just waste all that artillery. Or just, you know, not use it or whatever. You guys attack this way, help them out. That would be great. You can break across the river. It's only one division, but, you know, one division behind a river can hold out for quite a while. Do what we can here. Oh, 
Oh, the Germans are attacking me. Yeah, that's okay. Whatever. Um, yeah, you guys help out down here. You guys help out. You guys help break them down here. I could help out, I suppose. How many divisions are... Okay, that would help them a little bit. Yeah, I suppose I might try to help them out. Not by much, though. Cool, we're doing very well. Oh, they have three divisions in there now. Ooh, air superiority focus. We'll do Zuliani training base. We must improve our air infrastructure, such as building, such as by building a training base at our air base near Kiev. By doing so, we can help devote our pilots' training regiments, allowing them to more successfully defend Ukrainian skies from our foes. And a research bonus for air doctrine sounds great, even though I've done nothing for my air doctrine really at all. Because I only have three research slots. Good, you're actually over here. Awesome. While attacking like the Germans over a river is not ideal, sometimes you have to do it. Come on. Break that single division. Hold on to your place. We are still mobilizing more men, which is great. We get up to 8%, and I just want to keep an eye on that manpower. Muscat has capitulated to the Republic of Yemen or Saudi Arabia. Hmm. All right. Oh, the Baratia... Baratia Commune is getting walloped a little bit, it looks like, maybe, by the Princely Federation. At least it looks like that. That's good. That's actually really good for us. Um, the Germans are still holding out here. Good, 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 good. The Germans are still attacking like crazy against the Russians, which isn't good, 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 good. Uh, I think they're mobilizing more men. They're now on service by requirement, and their manpower is going up, which is not ideal. I will wait for the Germans to finish their attack before I do anything there. Up next is this tile. They have two divisions here, which isn't ideal to attack with, but whatever. Um, you know what? I'm going to help you, let you attack as well. And then I'm going to have you attack as well. Because we need divisions to help the attack. I'm going to throw this division moving south right here as well. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, not bad. Not bad at, so far at all. Next up, you guys are going to attack right here. Follow it up with an attack right here. I think that'd be for the best. Let's see, right here might be able, might be a good place to strike. Yes, we have just finished atomic research. We are, we will become a nuclear Ukraine, hopefully by the end of the this series. Ahead of time, Maschinen Karabiner Zwei von Versich. Nice. It's weird when your Ukrainian leader starts speaking German to you. But, you know, I guess that's why we are making the first Galician. Whatever. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Hope YouTube doesn't get any sort of ideas when I name divisions like that or when I say that. But, anyways. Um, actually, ah, oh, they're attacking over a river. I. Ah, oh, Germany, why? Ah, Germany, why? Why are you doing that? I wonder if we can help them out here. It is three divisions. I don't think they get, these guys could really win here unless these guys would get really battered down. But having this city would help us with a few more factories. So I think that would be good, actually. Do we have core on this place? I don't think so. Maybe we do. No, I don't think so. Yeah, we're not winning here. Do not attack. Um... Here, we can attack here. And we can probably do well here. They only have, like, one division, maybe? Yeah, maybe one. Awesome. Yeah, don't be too crazy, guys. I mean, that's okay to attack there. Um, to attack here, that's not bad either. Vladimir? Not bad. Yaroslavl? Something like that? Um, it, that would actually be a good defensive tile to have. Help him out there. Next up. Attack this way, so we can attack not over a river, which would be great. You guys, attack this way as well. Oh, they put another division in here, which is fine with me, so we can help crush them. You guys, next up, attack here. Petrograd is now their still main city, which is fine. Fang Jin, government declared war Mongolia, which is not good, because Mongolia is trying to help us out, kill off Russia. And Japan is now at war with the Great Khanate, which is less than ideal. Ooh. Well, it's always the Dutch, and navally invading again and again and again. They're not doing super well. Unfortunate, I know. Now this looks like it's ripe for an attack. Good. Rizov must be ours. 
Come on. Come on. The divisions are over here too. Zukov. Oh, they were using Zukov. Interesting. Come on. We almost got him. Awesome. Now immediately attack this way. Persia declared war on Armenia. That's interesting. That's an interesting thing to see. Four divisions attacking that many. We should be able to win there. Next up, you're going to help the Germans attack this way. Good. Um, yeah, I'm not going to attack that yet. Anywhere across the line. You guys can do it. You guys can do it as well. You guys don't need help anymore. That's great. Oh, I was going to help push that way, but that's okay. Vladimir, you're next. Yeah, don't attack there. Cross the line. Anywhere good to attack. Um, if these guys need help, we might be able to supply a few extra soldiers to help you out, my friend. Paulus is attacking. Oh, Paulus. Uh, yeah. Using Ukrainians. And s oh, there goes Siam People's Democratic Republic. That's interesting. Uh, they have two divisions. They're defending pretty well. Mm, if it goes down any number, I'm going to call off the... No, we're going up. We're going up. I was going to call off the attack, but seeing as it's going up for now, I think that'll be okay. We do have quite a bit of army XP right now, which is great. All right, I don't have enough divisions to attack that tile yet, so we must continue attacking like this. Right, very good, very good. Oh, infantry expert, yes, please, that would be great. 81, we'll hopefully go up to 82. This is slowly going to win up here as we get attacked as well. You're going to defend. Yeah, get one of those divisions off, that'll be good. Next up, a next order to have attack. Oh, Germany, please. You, you can only attack so many times before your soldiers are all quite literally dead. Um, I don't mind helping in attacks like where you could, you need help. That's totally fine with me, but you got to focus on more Petrograd. Because even though we really need to focus on the Don Kuban Union, that's a really, really good thing to focus on, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Now the convoy was sunk. So really, the Don Kuban Union, if we can take out the Cossacks, then the rest of Russia will be fairly easy. That way we can get Baku, we can get Georgia, then we can just move our forces up and around because the central part of our line has penetrated pretty okay into Russia. Not bad at all. But really, the Cossacks need to be taken out. They have to be taught a lesson. And that's exactly what I plan on doing right now. Now, they have seven divisions. We're attacking with six. But we're still winning. Their divisions, especially the Cossacks units, apparently do not have enough equipment. They have enough men, I believe. Enough men, but not enough equipment. Which makes for an interesting battle, seeing as we're using less men to actually attack than they are defending with. Beautiful. And once we have our spec ops or special divisions, we will be doing okay. Um, this is not ideal. So for now, as they're continuing to defend, go ahead and attack and stall them. That would be great. Alright, yeah, you keep attacking. You waste your manpower, waste your equipment. Make your way down here. Good, they're still attacking. They're still moving down. Give me half of you guys and attack this way as well. That'll help things right there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Right now, we'll attack this way as well. Punish them, please. Alright. Actually, we don't need to defend because Denmark is actually here. Finally, they're actually having some divisions in the south helping our guys out. Um, right here, might be able to use some extra divisions. That would be good so we can take out Voronez. 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 That'd be great. Uh, we might be able to attack here. I don't want to stretch out our line too much. Good. Good. Dominion of India declared war on the Bharatiya Commune. Awesome. The less number of totalists or syndicalists in this universe, the better. Oh, you're all the way up there. Whatever. That will be fine. We're defending very well. Over here, we still can't quite take this tile. But it's nine divisions that are attacking in the north. Versus two very disorganized divisions. So we should be able to win very nicely. Very good. This is working out very nicely now in the south. Well, at least a little bit more nicely. Hmm... I want to attack here. But we need to continue attacking over here to really push the line down south. So, because the Germans are defending, or helping us defend, we're going to keep killing them like this. Russia, we've killed... Wow, the Germans have finally killed more 
Russians, and we have. We've taken almost half a million casualties, so I'm not feeling terrible about our losses so far. We almost have our special divisions. Our special 40 combat width divisions, which would be amazing. Oh, and they're still attacking. Awesome. Well, I'm going to take you guys. I'm going to tell one of you guys to hold your horses. Don't attack just yet. You guys attack this way across the line because... <gasps> Ooh, hello there, special divisions. I need a special general to lead this. Pablo, would you be willing to lead this division for now since I don't have any political power? Yes, he would. Yes, he would. <gasps> Pablo Skoropatsky, thank you for joining the fray. Um, I'm going to send you south right now immediately to help defend. And then I'm going to help have you push in the north, eventually. Um, what do we need? Air doctrine stuff. We're... Land doctrine is doing well. Ah, artillery stuff. 40 combat with divisions will be great. Oh, we have this as well. Close air support. Bl Black Sea bombers, nice. By integrating a section of our air force into the navy, the Black Sea can be brought more decisively into our own sphere of influence. After all, it is... It is not a Ukrainian lake just yet. Not yet, but soon enough, it will be. Um, we're going to need some extra support down here. They're actually... They have a... Oh, they know that if they lose this tile, they're going to... That's not going to be good for them. Go ahead and hold for now. Don't worry about that. Um, you can come down here. That was actually not very good for us. But that is basically to be expected. Uh, yes. Help defend up there. We're going to help push this front a little bit further ahead. Good stuff, good stuff. Armenia was annexed, which is a little uglier, but whatever. Awesome. We will need to take that city soon enough. We'll see what happens. Uh, you guys come down here. My first Galician and my first Kharkov. Oh, they won't know what hit them when I throw them 40 combat with divisions. Oh, no, 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 no. The fall of... Oh, no, not the fall of Norlands. Norlands, no! No! You were the chosen one, Nolans. You were the chosen ones. Good. Um, oh, there goes the Pacific States declared war on the American Union state. Pretty normal. Cameroon is doing Cameroon things. Um, is there anywhere we can continue? Oh, we actually lost a battle. That's not good. The Russians, they, they, they're not completely defeated yet. Give them time, they will be, but we'll see what happens. Overwhelming firepower. Great. We're getting attacked over here, which is what I thought would happen. But the American Union State has collapsed, unfortunately. Press F to pay respects. Keep attacking. Nice. Oh, and the Netherlands is attacking over here. Alright then. Alright, so. These bad boys. I wasn't planning on using them yet. And I don't think I will plan be planning on using them until I can attack here with enough divisions. That being said... They want to attack us here, so we will oblige them right now and attack them right here. Very good. This is going to be extremely important to help us kill off here. If we can just push a little bit faster right here, that would be great. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. We can capture the city. Um, there's just too many divisions in the south. I will use my spec ops, but they're just not ready yet. Because there's too many divisions over here. Um, over here. Is there anything that we could do to help out? Yes, there is. Push them back. Push them back. Well, they want to attack. I might as well oblige them. 85. Nice. Very nice. And I will name these later on. Probably tomorrow. Or between now and tomorrow. So, we'll focus on that. Let me see... Ooh, more divisions. Rocky Mountain Seas Fire. Alright, that's very ugly. Very ugly. And I will end the episode very, very soon. Because I actually have to go, too. I must leave. But, let's see if we can help these guys out real quick. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Tons of army XP. And I'm loving it. So far. We almost have this. And then we'll take this city. And then we will be done for the day. Awesome. Go ahead, take the city out. Burn it to the ground. They have only two divisions in there. But it's two very, very annoying divisions. And we have... We almost have the city. And there we go. The city is now ours. Glorious. 
Two more divisions killed. We've got 1942 guns at the beginning of 1942. Happy 1942, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Oh, crap. The West is falling. The West is not doing well. Oh, bo oh boy. But anyways, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. We will help out the West earn part of our faction tomorrow. Uh, check out my Discord link below. And if you have any information about the actual number of divisions used in World War II that is at least not completely un youtube friendly please let me know and i will rename some of these special divisions because i will be using them very very heavily very soon and i actually might send our current special divisions to help out in the west with that in mind thank you very much thank you very much for watching it and i will see you all tomorrow and hope you have a great great day